All right, y'all, so something a little different here. Uh, Texas Star 1200 DX 1200 hot plate. Uh, these originally came out with Toshiba 2290s. This one has, uh, it's had HG 2290s put back in it, eight of them. But guess what? I actually blew this thing up today. So uh, maybe selling it as is. Um, I don't really have a price in mind. I thought about auctioning it off. I don't know. Um, if I thought I could get away with putting it on eBay without somebody reporting the hell out of it or eBay being a amplifier Gestapo, I might put it up on eBay, but it definitely has blown pills in it. Um, I don't know how many it's still putting out power. I think it's doing a couple hundred Watts. Um, and it was working for a, for a period of time. I may have killed it running a little bit too much dead key. I was putting about two and a half watts dead key into it, and it was dead keying about a 100 watts, which I thought would probably be safe, but I may have killed it myself. I don't really think that's what killed it. Um, I'll be honest with you. I think what killed it is the, uh, the biasing and the amp because it was acting kind of funny. I was actually getting ready to do a video on it for you guys, and it was acting kind of funny, and I'm like, oh, I better mess with this thing for a minute. And make sure it's uh it's stable before I put it up for sale. And uh, so I messed around with it here, and I was noticing on lamp meter that even with the hundred watt dead key, this thing was drawing a ton of power. It was drawing like seventy something amps, and then when I talked in the mic, um, it would go up to drawing like eighty. So it shouldn't have been drawing seventy amps with a hundred watt dead key for one. Um, and I'm pretty sure that that's what got it. I think if somebody was going to repair it, you would just want to take the bias circuit out of it. I mean, I think that's going to be detrimental to the to the HG transistors, the 2290s. I don't know anybody right offhand that has ran that many of the 2290s together. Um, so I can't tell you that how stable the, the HG 2290s actually are running that many of them. And again, I feel like the failure was linked to the... Uh, the bias circuit of it. So possibly if you just put this thing back class C, um, it would run better and more stable. I mean, it was doing 800 Watts with a 50 watt radio hitting it. So it was doing what I would expect it to do. It was actually, I was pretty happy with it as far as the output goes. Um, but obviously the durability, uh, was not there and it wasn't hot. I mean, this just happened just a couple of minutes ago and it's barely warm to the touch. I mean, you can barely even tell that it was, it was used and I didn't stay on it very long either. Uh, the voltage that I was at at failure, um, was 14 five. So it wasn't being over volted or anything, but again, guys, I saw that clamp meter and I'm like, man, this thing is drawing some crazy power here. Something is about to give up. Um, but I'm glad it happened here instead of with somebody else. Um, obviously this would have been a nightmare scenario had I tested it and, uh, you know, it was good to go here and then somebody gets it and talks on it for a day and blows it up. I mean, that, that would have been a nightmare for, for them and me. So I'm glad that it happened here. Am I glad that it happened? No, not really. Kind of sucks. But uh, I'm trying to spin it around here where you guys can see the back of it. Somebody's put, they have put some lugs on it here. And I can tell you that the transistors in this thing were brand new because they were bought from me. So here's your hot and then here's your ground right here. Um, I can tell you that the transistors in this amp were brand new because they were actually bought from me. So uh, it does have a matched set of uh, HG 2290s in it for whatever that's worth. Um, there's going to be some good transistors in there that you can pop out and use in a two pill or, you know, using whatever. Um, they're not all going to be bad because it's still doing some power. Uh, there's a good chance that it just blew, you know, a couple of them. But I can't say for sure. So, uh, I'm going to think about it here. I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to sell it. I'm just going to sell it as it is. I'm not going to sit here and, and just pour money into it and mess with it. I, I need to get it up out of here and out of the way. Um, so, you know, I'll make somebody a deal on some, on some transistors. If somebody wants to, to repeal it themselves, you know, if you buy this, I'll hook you up with the transistors. Um, you will need to put eight matched 2290s in it. Don't, don't get it and think you're just going to patch it up and put um, some random ones in there. It, it's going to be back to where it's at right now, which is which is torn up. It's blown up. Uh, so if you do get it, you will want to put eight match 2290s in it, whether you get them from me or 
you know, whether you get them from whoever, um, that's what you'll want to do. Sideband delay does work in it, and it does turn on and off. I, I can give you guys that much. Uh, and it is doing some power right now, but it, uh, it unfortunately had a failure here on the test bench. So it happens. It doesn't happen a lot. Um, but I do, I do blow stuff up every now and again, just like everybody else. Um, and unfortunately I'm going to take this one on the chin. I'm not going to raise hell with the guy that I got it from because it actually did work. Okay. When he, he told me that it did 800 Watts with a 50 watt radio and it did. Um, unfortunately it just didn't stand the test of time. It wasn't, a it wasn't stable. So am I going to raise hell with him? No, I do business with the guy all the time. Buy stuff from him, sell stuff to him. Um, he gives me good deals on stuff, so I'm not going to pitch a fit. You know, it's just one of those things. When you buy and sell radio equipment, this type of shit happens. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. I may auction it off. I've thought about doing a couple of different things. So somebody might send me like a good offer on it. I hate to do that, you know, because... You know, if you want to sell something, you should put a price on it, you know, or at least have a price in mind. I really don't have a price in mind right now. <laughs> so if somebody, uh, if somebody has an offer in mind, send it to me. Uh, in the meantime, I'll probably, uh, I'll either auction it off on eBay if I can get away with it, or I might even do an auction here on the YouTube channel if people are interested in it. All right, guys, that's it. Blown up Texas Star 1200. <laughs> Everybody have a good day. Questions, comments, shoot me a text. 423-299-3535. Rooster in Tennessee. See you, bye.